we continue for our journey in our racing evolution. <clears throat> and with more events to challenge. Um, so, it's been almost a week. Because uh, the whole the Ricky O party thing kind of took one of the my usual days for this game. But it's fine. It was worth it. I, I suffered for four hours. It was great. It was a great time. <clears throat> but, um... We made a lot, quite a bit of progress last time. Mostly in the, uh... Longer form events. As well as time trials. Um... So I think today... I think we're gonna start off by... <coughs> knocking out some of the shorter stuff. I think, so uh, I think we're going to start with uh, some one-make racing here, and uh, yeah, so the first event is going to be the S2000 Challenge Cup at frickin' Monaco, go ahead and buy it, 15,000 RP, there's only one S2000 in the entire game, or at least one trim of it. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> my first race in this game in almost a week, and it's going to be at frickin' Monaco. But that's fine. That's fine. I'll figure it out. So, let's get ready. Let's get rolling. I Let's get calibrating my pedals. There we go. And let's do this. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'm just forever cursed with Ligma. Good luck. Okay, Stefan. I actually could not hear Stefan at all there. God, Monaco. Oh, God. <coughs> Alright. That's at it. Show him what Show him your moves. Monaco works in this game. Just everything in this game works. Really. God, Stefan is getting drowned the fuck out by these S2000s. I cannot hear him. It's funny. <clears throat> Things are loud. So, yes, Reaper. Come on, come on. Are we gonna dive into the bus stop? Just kidding. <clears throat> Did not dive into the bus stop. I thought I was breaking late. Turns out I was not breaking late at all. Oops. Breaking points are very backed up here from the last cars I was driving, driving, driving here. You know, either big, fast, or old. <clears throat> this one is neither. Which is kind of fast. I do so do the memory test. Like brain memory or computer memory? Really making passing your hobby. Oh, okay. It's crazy how much a good a good dusting can do to your PC more. I wouldn't know because I'm lazy and stupid and never maintain my shit, but if I did... <clears throat> right. Starting to get back to the rhythm here. Didn't take very long. How bad the grip on me used to be. <laughs> 
The grip was bad. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, I feel that. They, they, that similar grip on me. Shambles, really? I mean, as expected. I mean, this is a one-make race. I expect to just destroy the AI. <clears throat> so I still. We walk up. We're good. Made the corner. Oh, that's that's a wall. That's a wall. You're not supposed to hit walls. Wall bad. Bad for health. Car gad bass for health. Coming. Front and then at home. Alright, I'm leaving. I'm going back to France. Alright, good first race. Good warm up race. <clears throat> One by eight seconds over these losers. <laughs> Anyways, that was one make race number five. Gold. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Let's just head straight into number ooh, number six. Viper Challenge Cup. My neurons. They have been activated. There's a Miller version of the Viper. My wife. Okay, we're doing three laps of Phillip Island for this one. <clears throat> and my wife. Mm -hmm. So, uh... Let's go. <clears throat> Let's go to the island in Australia, known as Philippe. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> the ligma is fierce right now. Here we go. Ready, go! Don't know what he means by that. Sticky. <clears throat> Get off these nuts. Oh. 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 Keep the heat on and encourage him to slip up. King doesn't have APS, so I'm fucking 
Congratulations. How, how's stop car? stop car I'm sure I'm doing a bad job at car drive right now okay hop back up to the to the lads uh, if I keep doing shit like this no no I'm not okay bye nice and smooth or just oh my god oh god or, or, no, not nice nor smooth. Make contact, lose control. Car contact, make me lose control just like music. It's a funky noise. Hmm. Gee, I wonder. The DVD logo finally hit the corner of the screen and it made sense. <clears throat> Hell of an overtake. Turns out it's not the game's fault, I just was not understanding a mechanic of it. Assumptions, Mora. Make yourself look like a dumbass. That's how the saying goes, right? Personal problem. Whoever's molding back there can shoot the other guy with a gun. Oh, around the outside of Miller. What a flex, that was almost sick. <clears throat> Imagine if I actually cleared him on turn one doing that. I don't I think I think Miller probably would have just pulled over and quit right there. I know like literally what it what it was. I, I, I was doing a funny. That's what that's that's what that means, right? That's the quote, right? Yes. Practice is really paying off. Is it cause assume ah, you you separate assume into different separate words, you get ass you me. Ha 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 ha. Nice timing on the brakes. Oh my god. Turns out this powerful car spins the tires sometimes on in low speeds. Uh, you're a little late on that message. There we go. I win. We win the snack showdown. There we go. Adjusted. It was actually a pretty close race, mostly from because of my terrible driving, but I made it interesting, Teehee. I guess. Alright. That's one make number six. Number seven is the Rosso 156 Challenge Cup. For the Alfa Romeo 156 guitar. 
Another 15,000 entry. Only one tr version of the 156 guitar in this game, so. <clears throat> do I have multiple liveries for this? I do. Hmm. We'll drive the all red version. Instead of the red with a black wing. Oh, this one's fully upgraded, that's right. Do I go red or red? Hmm. <clears throat> Do I go with alpha logo or alpha text? On the car. Ugh. That was being annoying, as it always is. Alright. Whatever. <clears throat> Anyways, three laps of Suzuka, let's go. in our alpha. Okie dokie. Oh, I will make the least of it. I forgot how to slow this car down. <clears throat> Picking the Ferrari. Oh, I forgot how front wheel drive, front -wheel drive cars behave in this game. Dialed in more front brake bias. Yep. Jesus Christ, Stefan. This is a test try of evil destruction. <clears throat> oh, their pathing is weird, Mora. As soon as you approach, as soon as you approach them, they like get off of the racing line. And then they'll like rejoin the racing line at some point. It's 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 an interesting behavior. Again, I still love uh, you get like people talking shit like I'm not letting you pass, herba derba der, and then you approach them. They're like, okay, here you go, have the lane. Pretty much what Terashima just did. A damn 76. Here you go. He's getting so desperate, he let he gave me the racing line. He moved over mid corner. Oh, I forgot how slow they take 130. It's called trail breaking, Mora. It's an actual tactic. You hit the brakes hard and then uh, gradually decrease pressure. As you approach corner entry. Alright, Sakagami. You're going in the sidewall. There you go. Actually, I did not touch his tires, so never mind. Oops, he's caused a roadblock. Whoops. Alright, now we get just a nice. Nice calm drive for another lap and insert decimal here. Good. Now zip past that corner. Zipping. Uh huh. Get insulted, bitch. Come on, come on. Nice and smooth around the spoon. 
It's honestly crazy how smooth, like... I'm able... Like, how smooth I'm able to drive with the wheel. Again, this game has really good wheel support. I'm not having to, like, crank it and shit. Can drive it like a car. Uh, considering this game's from 2003, very good. By today's standards, it's not great, but, like, by 2003 standards, it's very, very good. <clears throat> yes, this is from 2003. This is a 20-year-old video game. Nope. And same console generation. I don't think there'd be much difference in those two years, because I think around 2003 people were figuring out how to get, how to optimize the PS2's <coughs> uh, fidelities, or f to optimize the PS2. hope so it's been the console had been out for four years by this point or three years whatever yeah and it was only a couple years only this is literally released in between the launch of the ps2 and P and the launch of the ps3 around the same time. But Racer 6 was a uh, launch title for the 360. As was 7 was a launch title for the PS3. And 5 was a launch title for the PS2. And DS was a launch title for the DS, etc, etc. And PSP was a launch title for the PSP. I won the Alpha race, by the way. I am the top of Alpha Romeo racing Italiano. You have Uno. I also have a big fat dub by 19 seconds. <clears throat> Ridge Racer Vita without a platform. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe that's why the game has no contents because it's not it's it's for a uh, system that doesn't even exist. This is an inside joke. All right, let's continue the one makes because I don't know why not. Next up is the Z Challenge Cup, the Yokohama Street Circuit. Ooh, do I even have a regular 350, or do I have just have the drag version? I don't think I have the Class 2 350. Hang on. Can I purchase it? Yes, I can. Okay. Oh, this livery is kind of sick, actually. Uh, the, the purple. The purple is sick. All right, let's just go ahead and buy this, I guess. 250,000 RP. Got two more GT2 cars I can purchase. Oh, whoops, I backed out too far. Whoopsie. Who has the controller today? Hell yeah. All right, anyways, one make number eight. The Z Challenge Cup. Let's spend another 15,000 to unlock the race. Here we go. 
purple in the front, white in the back, just like my uh, 350 that I just bought. Purple in the front, white in the back. <laughs> I mean, there's also some purple and there's some white in the front, but blah, blah, blah. Alright. Let's do this. I didn't even look to see what track we were going to. Oh, Yokohama, okay. <laughs> Three laps at the Yokohama Street Circuit. Let's go. Money is expensive. Just buy more. Oh, we got a big old pack into turn one. I think a mix of drag and GT. Just stop being poor, little mile. Excuse me. Pardon me. Bonk. So maybe not. Maybe not drag cars. Maybe they just suck at turning. Those who are fighting back there, geez. They're getting upset. Oh my God! They're stopping. Okay, I think those two are drag builds, maybe. Oh yeah, they're killing me on acceleration, they're absolutely drag versions. Sure is. My drive is also better. <laughs> Alright. We must now catch and pass the buffoon. I know it's Buffon, but shut up. Notice me, senpai. Ooh. Oh, he's absolutely in an, also in a drag. 350. One of us has a car that can turn. It's me. I have the car that can turn. Alright. This might actually be difficult to defend just because of the game's rubber banding. Remember the last time I thought it was a shoe in against a drag car and it actually ended up being a pretty difficult defense? However, okay, now for the corner. Carried a little too much speed. Carried a lot too much speed. Now that I've taken the lead, I'm going to now proceed to forget how to drive. That is the perfect way to break. Okay. Shit. Not quite how I wanted to take that last turn. Oh well. Fine. Speaking of fine, fine old lap. <laughs> Alright, he's not catching me. I'm doing everything in my power to allow him to catch me, but he's still not catching me. Oh my god. Turned in way too soon. I don't know how I didn't hit the wall. Open seed. You buffoon. 
maybe if you pick the GT version of this car, not the drag version, you'd be able to hang. smoother. Maybe a little slow, but a lot smoother. Not you, obviously. Thanks, Stefan. I've won the Z challenge. The winner of the Z Challenge. Z. So I think second, third, and fourth were all the drag cars, and then Jimenez and Sakagami were in the GT version. They're fucking slow. They suck. Couldn't even beat a car that doesn't turn on a track that has turns. Losers. L plus ratio, rip bozo, etc. Alright. Uh, we got two more one makes, and let's just go ahead and do them. Fuck it. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase both of them. So, 15,000 for the 500 challenge, and 15,000 for this one. So, number nine. The 500 challenge cup for the Fiat 500F. Ooh. I wonder if anybody's going to be in the Garnier version of this car. We're at Monaco. Only one way to find out. Well, the game's defaulting to that for me. Um, I think I'm going to drive the rally car, though. Just in case no one is in the uh, Stefan's specific version of the car. I'll drive my little uh, Rally 2 car. With its step 2 horsepower and step 1 weight reduction. Let's go. Maybe. Let's go back to Monaco. Let's see what we got here. Ready? Go! So if anyone immediately pulls the fuck away... They're in the big, fast... Ow. Mamma Mia time. Nah, I'm good, Chester. Certainly off to a not a good start, that's just because I'm me bad at driving. It's time to get away from that tailgater. Working on it. Good. Now zip past that corner. Let's get used to the handling of this thing. We're in good shape. other. There's NASCAR. Uh, NASCAR did... There, there used to be a time where, like, teammates could directly communicate with each other. In NASCAR, like, they could use the same radio channel, but that has since been, uh, disallowed. Only like team team to team communication, so 
It's not like Dale Earnhardt could talk shit directly to Jeff Gordon. Like, he could only communicate with, like, his, you know, direct teammates. I'm trying to remember who his teammates would be at the time. Mike Skinner? <laughs> Maybe? Actually, was Mike Skinner? Yeah, Mike Skinner was definitely the 31 at that point, because he won those Japanese exhibition races. Or at least one of them. Alright, no one is in the Stefan version of this car, so I've made a good choice here. This is true, but however, NASCAR would be all over that shit, because uh, they also have access to every radio. So if someone's trying some fishy shit, they can, they can stop them right then and there. Like, hey, or penalize them. Maybe not stop them, but like, be like, hey, I'm on to you. We did it. We took first. That yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's why I use code words. O or in the case of spin gate. Hey, is your arm feeling tired? It's kind of... You, you feeling okay? Oh, yeah. I mean, even today, like, if something happens to the driver, they will, they'll key up the radio and tell their team, all right, I'm getting his ass. Like, if someone gets bumped out of the way and they get mad about it. There's even even was a a uh, a thing that a uh, thing that happened this year in I think one of the lower divisions in the Xfinity series where someone got like bumped out of the way or something and uh, one like one of the team members who uh, told the driver get even the driver necessarily wasn't planning on that, but then they told him, hey, get even. Don't let him do that to you. And uh, it turned into a not good situation. Because he got even, and it was pretty uh, egregious. I think it was that. It was that Watkins Glen. Xfinity, I think. Still a thing. I mean, they're still allowed to like confront each other and uh, fist fight. <laughs> By fist fight, I mean uh, throw a single punch and then get separated. Or unless you're, uh, unless you're. Uh, Good. I forgot his name. Matt Crafton. Unless you're Matt Crafton, you just sucker punch some dude. In the garage area. Bubba, not Bubba. Talking about the uh, Ross Chastain Noah Braxton incident. Noah, gr Noah grabbed Ross. Ross is like, don't do that. Let go. Stop that. Stop that. And then he just threw a punch. And then that's when the official's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, no. <laughs> Not 300 horsepower. Yeah, I decided I wanted to win by 10 seconds instead of a full minute, so. You know. Did he use one of these? I'm not saying it didn't happen, but I don't remember it. Was it Pocono? Yeah, I don't remember.
Yep, a one by eleven seconds. Losers. All right. Well, on to our tenth and final one make race. It's the Elise Challenge Cup at Yokohama Street Circuit. So, gonna be driving the Lotus Sport Elise. I've already purchased the event. So, uh, let's just go. Do I have multiple liveries for this, or do I just have one? Just the one. Just the Chaparral livery. <laughs> Getting my Chaparral Elise. Do more front brake bias. Oh, yeah. Fully upgraded as well. All right. To Yokohama once again for another three laps. Numbers tend too high. Oh, 66. I did it. It's Chapra. However, the white, the number font, the circle. It's it's Chaparral. Got the immediate jump on one of them. They had seven six on the side, yeah. That damn seventy six. God, oh, oh, you, oh, you, oh, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I saved it, we're good. Max or staff and shit himself when he's still 76 on the grid. Dude, whoever the next, like, newest person to enter Formula One, they have to run 76. Yeah, I don't remember that one, Roberta. Isn't it Pocono where Denny got his 50th win? Or was that somewhere else? Yeah, okay. That's that's the only thing I remember from Pocono is that. <laughs> Andretti's been approved, haven't they? Perfectly wounded 20 in our roster. After this, uh, that second, yeah, that last left hander.
Yeah, he does that to me too. He's like, I, I do like a perfect entry. He's like, break earlier, stupid. Stefan, I made the turn. What are you talking about? Shut the hell of your mouth before I send you into the sidewall. No wonder Stefan was a failure as a driver. I can't remember if he was actually a former driver. nailed the corner. He's just like, you did it wrong, you stupid. Oh, I needed that. Holy shit. Woo. That was a big, big neck crack. Oh my god. Oh my god, I feel so much better. I win. Gold baby. Pretty sure... I don't think we get any, like, bonuses or anything for clearing an entire list. Or a category. Just, hey, here you, here you go. I'm gonna save. The game has crashed on me more than zero times, so I'm going to save. Perfect. I don't fucking know. Anyways, we have completed all the one make races now. That's one challenge category complete. So, do the rival events next. Because these won't take too long, I don't think. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. 15,000 for event 5 here. Versus Fabio Viari. The first time. We'll be driving prototypes at a... Phillip Island. I was wanting to say Brands Hatch for some reason. He's in he's in an Audi R8. Guess who doesn't have a car that isn't the Bentley? It's it's, it's me. It's, I I still have only just the Bentley. One of these. Well, eventually I'm going to be uh, driving a prototype that isn't this. Eventually. I forgot I actually did a little weight reduction for that one time trial. It was for Monaco. Alright, so. Three lap 1v1, Bentley versus Audi. Audi R8R versus Audi R8C. Yes, I know the Bentley only shares it as an Audi engine, but the rest is. This has been established. I still like making these jokes, though. Okay. I don't have one. Haha. -ha. It's actually my crippling depression. Um. Lap one, chill. Steve, not Stefan. Oh, yeah, Steve and Stefan. Steve. I get it. Like, bruh, the race, the race literally just started. Nice 
second time he's asking this. Hmm. They haven't found an answer yet, so it's just regular silence. I said... The fuck is his weak point? Ooh. This is a line. Not the line, but a line. Oh yeah, I love this car. Gap a lot there. <laughs> and then I extended it back. Seven's the gap. Yeah, better execution. Still not perfect, but that was a lot better than last lap. Now he's just pissed at Stefan. Where does he find these people? I don't think Viali has many different voice lines. Especially when he's molding behind me. Don't touch the curb, by the way. Curb bad. It's fine. I, I still win. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Probably sadder. GVI. Hmm. Alright, isn't it this is the last guy I have to pass in the uh the finale? The final race for my freedom. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Somehow we somehow never touched. Actually a little surprised at that. Alright, well fuck you, GVI. We beat your ace again. Uh -huh. Anyways, let's do more rival races. So, um, I believe the second half of this is just round two against every other every driver. Yeah. So, oh, hey, look, the last race is against Viali at Motegi, and basically a one v one repeat of the final chapter of the story. That's cute. Ooh, one on one race against Max Schultz. Acquire his machine by attaining gold. Oh, we're racing for pinks now. Hey, yo. Also, 50 grand for the, uh, to buy. All right. So he's going to be in the M3, so every class but prototype for gold and then prototype for silver. Welcome to pinks. What car do I want to drive? I don't think I've driven the uh, the red white Golf livery of the W12 yet, so I'm gonna drive this. Oh, and it is fully upgraded as well. All right. Well, let's go. 
I wish I could remember the Pink's theme, but all I can remember is the Pink's All Out theme, specifically the Let Em Roll. Bernardo is exceptionally hot. <laughs> it really is. It's like a modern interpretation of the XJ220, at least modern at the time of this game. Because, like, that roof line just screams Jag Jaguar XJ220. What eat what? Two bus links and a baby carriage. That one's going over my head, but yeah. He needs the head start. Don't stop now. Get up in his face. Working on it, Stefan. Monaco's kinda tight. Uh, you're gonna give me the inside regardless of my answer. I know how you work. It's a long first gear on this thing. Oh, this is a five lap race as well. Hi, how you doing? What's up, Schultz? Nice Ross Chastain imitation. Might be Stefan. All right. Unfortunate setback. I mean, uh, I'm doing this for entertainment. We we throw on lap one to make this to, to add to drop to fabricate drama. Right, I am. Oh, that's a wall, by the way. Nice coat de jour. We are on the Azure co Coast. I don't know why, but when I started going through the tunnel, my brain like went into like Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed. Specifically the PC version, because it has Monaco. Don't know why, but it, it, it's just a thing that happened. Seconds back. Three laps to go. Spectacular steering. You're not pacing the car in front of you. Take him. Take him. Now. Don't touch the curb. Curb bad. Scary. Trying my damage to not actually cut the bus stop. In any way, that's a wall. I seem to have caught back up to our boy. We 
to go. Not sure Steph, what Stefan meant by that. Hmm, interesting. Your last two laps were within the same tenth. Hi, Schultz. What if the Monaco Grand Prix was a GT1 race? Instead of just the full grid, it's a 1v1. Here's your answer. I don't know, I don't, I don't think GT1 cars could do much around here. They're also pretty large vehicles. Congratulations, you, you fool. But one down, that's, that's the old, there, there was only one, Stefan. Till I get a new car. This is what we're here for. Final lap. <laughs> he was trying to cook, but he forgot to turn the oven on. The My favorite mentally ill crew <laughs> Oh, I. All right, here's our classic. I've taken the lead. Time to forget how to drive. Or is this the Volkswagen W12 concept? The Nairo. game's soundtrack is great, which is no surprise, it's a Namco soundtrack. Oh, it never went into production, that's the thing. Just one of those failed concepts. I don't, I don't know the specifics on why it failed, but it failed. We, I win. Take that, Max Schultz. We'll be taking your car now. Yeah, it's a long boy. Oh, that's right. This event cost 50000 to purchase, so... Win with gold, that's a uh, return on an investment plus 100%. And... We got the Max Schultz version of the uh, BMW M3. Hell yeah. I like how it's it's listed as a rival car. Not like special or upgraded or anything. No real livery hours. You love to see it. R4 song and Xbox Tyco. Cool. All right, so that was our first Pink's uh, 1v1. But let's just do our next one against Amarcus Nelly. Another 50 grand to purchase. And he's going to be driving... Oh, this is going to be a drag race. That's all right. <laughs> Prototype for silver. Yeah, very... 
I, I, I re like to refer to this game as race combat. Um, I'll drive the charger for this. I've never played Ace Combat. I don't really have interest in uh, flight games. So I've never... Just never. I don't know why I adjusted the brake bias. It's literally a drag race. <laughs> Wherever he may be, he's probably at twitch.tv slash aerotech, considering the stream of on. Alright, don't fall start. Watch the tree. I actually did time that very well. Alright, now we just gotta hit the nitrous. Go! Oh, all right. Damn. Yes. Lost by half a tenth. Considering how good that reaction time was, I think I'm just going to upgrade this thing. So let's go back and, if I can, performance shop, stupid. Oh, I can, okay. So, step one power, 92,000, gives me a 26 horsepower increase. And a 29 torque increase. Yeah, we'll do the weight reduction as well. Help with acceleration. That's so that'd be a 133 pound weight reduction for 46 grand. All right, our charger is lighter and fast, more powerful now. So let's do this again. And because it saved my car setup for this, I have to actually go and. Apply the upgrades. There we go. Alright. It is time to drag again. Here we go. Hopefully, I can nail the launch again. And watch the tree. That was a little slower launch. Not quite as good on the time in that time. But with the upgrades, we just. There's a racer. Yeah, that'll make the engineers happy. Except the part where I slam into the wall after the finish. I don't think they'll be happy about that. Too soon, Junior. Let's see. Oh, yeah, he got a way better reaction off the tree. He got me off the line by like half a tenth. And then Nitrous. The mechanics, not so much. 76 beats 77. Ha ha ha. I basically got my money back for the, uh, the car upgrades. And we got a new drag car. An RX-7. I like this livery on it. I like the font of the 76 as well. Alright. Two down, three to go. Next Pink's race against Dave Miller. And his Viper. So let's pay the entry fee. We're going to do five laps at Suzuka here. I didn't look at the uh, the 
metals. It's it's everything but prototypes for gold and then prototypes for silver. Hmm. You know what? Let's let's compete rival compete rival car versus rival car. I'll drive a uh, Schultz's BMW for this. Ooh, it's got step two and step step two power step one weight. <laughs> you maniac! <laughs> <clears throat> I'm a maniac, maniac on the track. We go. Really good launch compared to Miller. <clears throat> He's definitely got me on acceleration. Okay, Dave. I'll come get you. And then I'll come take your car. I'll take your car. Yeah, take your girl. BMWs and not like curbs. He's getting desperate. Yeah, a little bit. I'm trying to get the no collision bonus. And there he goes. Wow, he barely went off track. Okay. That like cost him zero time. Presented, he presented the lane. He's like, try it. Yes. All right, how much are you gonna stop in 130R? And how hard am I gonna hit you? I'll just preemptively just stop. Oh, another overshoot. Another minor overshoot. Okay. He's only making very small mistakes. Whenever I, whenever he gets psyched out. Fine, we got four more laps here. Got four more laps to dance. Still going for the no collision bonus. There he goes. Later. Rest in piss, Dave. Oh. That's not where the road goes. That's where the road ends. Rev the tits out of it then. Would be my guest. Seconds. I don't know, I kind of overshot that, Stefan. How does it feel to have the fastest time? 
line, 6.2. We're definitely not finished with Dave, or, yeah, we're definitely not finished with Dave Miller. He's not finished with us. either. You went like two seconds faster than me that lap. You ran a 54. I don't want to hear it. station through the first sector and then second sector is when he closes on me because the viper power power the snake close two seconds on me that time. So he still he still ran a 54 though. always so sketchy. New GT1 cars.
Uh oh. Overshoot. Whoops. Steph has no clue. The Viper, Dave Miller. Rip Bozo, I'll take your car, Lamau. He got close though, he did get pretty close. Last night. Nah, you good. They brought the gap to a one and a half seconds at the end. But it wasn't good enough. I'll take my out of P. And I'll take my brand new Viper. The Dave Miller edition. Mmm, delicious snack. My wife. Now with that, we got two more 1v1s to left to do. Um, they're both 50k. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and just purchase both of them. Spend the 100,000 RP. And... Let's, uh, let's do a rally battle against Sergey Reynard, Reynard. At the rally arena for his Peugeot 206. So, let's see. Actually, hang on. First of all, let's take a look. Okay. Literally every class for gold. Alright. I had not used a coin to use a prototype. I tried using a prototype before, and it did not work. I wonder if I could use an all-wheel drive GT2 car and do well. Eh. Uh, which one? Which one? Use the Impreza. Thought about going Pojo versus Pojo, but we'll use the Pretzel. Good, not a good idea. Yeah. I learned that the hard way when I was doing some uh, progress recovery from a game crash. Just for shits and giggles, I tried it with the Bentley. Uh, it, it did not go well. Turns out the rally cars... Uh, are the only cars in this game that can actually drive on dirt. Crazy. There we go. Two laps around the super special. Against Sergey. Sergey has been one of my biggest, one of my two big rally rivals in this game, the other being Sebastian, whatever his last name is. I took that way too fast. Trying to remember the arena here. Quite fucking different. Reminds me of like Captain Town. The vague shape. I might have put in a little too much front brake. Got too much front brake in this thing. See where we're at at the end of lap one, and if I'm behind, I'll, I'm gonna quit and 
adjust. Oh wait, hang on. I can adjust the brake bias on the fly. I have the MFD. Duh. <laughs> El Capitan's a pretty fun track. I forgot about the MFD feature of this game. I can just adjust the brake bias on the fly. Let's get a little more weird. It is a very neat feature. Especially for a game from 2003. Alright. It's two tenths behind at the end of the first lap. I just gotta clean it up a bit in this second lap. And we should get the dub. Fine, we're good. Woo. I think that's the best I've taken that hairpin yet. Oh, missed the corner. Still neck and neck. Alright, here we go. Fat last half lap. The final loop. Stroke, stroke. What's up, Pendulum? Very heated 1v1 battle here. Good thing I remember this, uh, mostly remember the layout of this course, because I cannot hear my co-driver at all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we got him. I just looked at the map, we got him. Killed it. Kicked his ass in that second lap, holy shit. Destroyed. I want my four seconds. Take that, Sergey. I'll be taking your car. Boom. Sergey Reynard edition of the Pojo two hundred six Rally One car. That looks good. Looks damn good. Alright, we got one more 1v1 left to go. And it's against Fabio Viali in a... basically a run back of the final chapter of the story mode. Ten laps at the Motegi Speedway in prototypes. I've already purchased the event, so let's just go and get into Bentley. And after I win this race, I will finally have a prototype that isn't the Bentley. I'll be able to drive something else for once. Oh my god. I'm not even going to fuck with the brake bias. I don't... I'm be barely lifting off the throttle at, at, at worst, so... The VW group wins, yeah. Here we go. 
at VW. A little awkward launch. Oh, am I gonna clear? <laughs> okay. I got him on the initial drag race to turn one. He even had a car length advantage. <laughs> it's Audi engine. It's Audi car versus Audi engine. Of course, top arrow. Yeah. Them aerodynamics. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is the only layout of Motegi in this game. The freaking V-Dub commercial were... So, so goofy. Yeah, huh. Mauled more. Cry more lol. So through the slipstream, he's basically approaching me into turn three every lap. However, he's a coward. Yeah, I love this car as well. It's the only car to really compete with the Audi R8. Jericho talked about commercial from the early 2000s. I have not. At least I don't remember it. Uh, it's actually a fluke, Stefan. I've been fooling you this whole time. This is true, Bentley showed up. We we got we built a car to win at Le Mans and then they won at Le Mans. We built a car to win at Le Mans. Uh Mr. Audi, can we can we borrow your engine please? Ooh. Don't let it you. The engine we were is gonna use is to uh we can't. I haven't lifted off the throttle since I clapped two, by the way. I ran point zero zero one off my PB. Yeah, this race is just literally Viali catches me in the turn three and then he's a coward and lifts, so I pull back away, rinse and repeat every lap. Uh, pretty normal at this point, I'm kind of desensitized to it, Stefan. When it comes to music, Namco and Sega do not miss. 
I finally have a prototype that isn't the Bentley that I can drive. Woo! I did it. Anyways, that was a race of all time. Fast slap, good corner. I got a thousand RP for good cornering. Maxed out top speed. No course house, no braking. Let's go. Prototype class R8 Viali. There she is. Hmm. Hell yeah. All of 29 seconds. Alright. Let's save again. Wait, where are we at on percentage? We started at 66.2. We're now up to 71.3. We've made 5.1% of progress so far in an hour and a half. Hell yeah. And that is all the versus rival races done. All the 1v1s completed and defeated. So, what do we do next? Let's do this. Now that I have a prototype that isn't the Bentley, let's do the World Champion uh, series. Poor race. Use whatever you want. You'll get gold as long as you win. It's going to be six races. World Premier Racing Series with all six courses. So 80,000 to purchase. And, uh... Yeah. So. Let us, for the first time, drive a prototype that is not the Bentley Speed 8. <laughs> EXP Speed 8, excuse me. So I now have this. It is R8 time. Oh, and it's upgraded. So we have max HP, or max, max horsepower. I was going to say max health. And then step one weight reduction. Well, let's go. Big, uh, big tour race. Six races. What is it, five laps per race, I think? This is uh, actually going to be take a while. Yeah, five laps, okay. Here we go, race one of Suzuka. Swamp in! E. Yes. Let's, let's, let's do that. Thank you for the reset, Swamp in. Here we go. Oh. Good start. Except not. Oh, fucking hell. Hey, look, it's Dolph Ziggler. I will not stop making this joke. A reference. Not even a joke, it's just a reference. Bye. Later. I'm here to show the world. I appreciate it. I don't know how to show my appreciation, but I do appreciate it. Hi, Kel. Oh, oh. That works somehow. And what happens when you're a good driver, Steph, and you gain positions. Hey, look, it's got a couple domes at the front here. Or at least one dome. <laughs> is this one also a dome? It is. The double dome. At the front. And we 
taking the lead by the end of lap one. Oh, jeez. Hi, Carlos. Bye, Carlos. He missed the corner. I mean, so did I. But he missed it by an order of magnitude more. Yeah. I don't think he was doing much on TV, was he? So, makes sense, I guess. And yeah, here you are, letting 76 win. Think you can do anything about it. For honestly, same. I thought he was going to be there till the end. Money isn't everything. But it does mean he's going to leave it. Have a much easier life, at least. Woohoo! <laughs> I still remember that freaking Survivor series where he just randomly ended up being the sole survivor against the authority. And won like a like a one V three deficit. Oh, cool car. No, you good. You good. Yeah, I just uh, unlocked the Audi R8. That's all I'm driving it. This is the Speed Racer now. Here he comes. Here comes Speed Racer. Here's a demon on wheels. Here I am in the Mach 76. Right, we'll have to go. I have an 11 second lead, Jesus. game it is not. This game actually doesn't have a very large selection of tracks, which is kind of typical for Namco racing games at the time. Honestly, the track selection in this game is kind of, is a bit like, odd. We got Suzuka, uh, the Motegi Oval, but not the road course. And we have Phillip Island, Monaco. And then a, a fictional street circuit in Yokohama, and a fictional uh, Goodwood inspired track. And then a couple rally stages in a super special arena.
It is odd, but I do like it, yeah. We're on the final lap. We're in the first race. Of whatever the hell the series was called, World Master Series or whatever. I'm ahead by the entirety of the S's. happening behind me. Oh, absolutely. They, 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 they definitely just took whatever they had modeled for MotoGP of those two tracks and plucked it in this. Cleaned up the graphics, maybe. PS2 just has a lot of pretty games. I mean... And PS2 was a good good console with graph for graphical fidelity and art style. I'm surprised the uh, the domes were able to finish ahead of everyone else. Yeah. Just, you know, we still had pretty significant hardware limitations and also resolution. All right, on to race two. Where are we going to go? Where are we dropping? <clears throat> Honestly, Roberta, I've seen the King Kong game. Visually, it does kind of look of this time. Just, you know, one of the, like, goofier, lower-budget platformers. Someone said King Hearts 3 looks like a PS2 game. Yes, it is a very pretty game. This is true. I mean, for all intents and purposes, that King Kong game is an absolute disaster and just borderline scam. I'm trying to figure out what this guy's doing. Thank you for parking on the apex. That's the end. No, we're just getting started, Stefan. We got four more laps. Oh my god. What are you doing? Giving, being given one year to develop something from the ground up is just impossible today. Funnily enough, I'm actually currently using a uh, HDMI upscaler my P directly into my PS2. 
it's actually pretty cheap, and uh, if I don't properly ventilate the insides, by properly ventilate, I mean properly, uh, like, uh, circulate air in the inside by using, <laughs> funnily enough, by using my PS2's exhaust fans. Uh, it overheats and blows the shit out of the audio, but... Once I figured out that solution, it's actually not bad upscaler for 30 bucks. The only reason I, bu I bought it is because my capture card does not detect any uh, resolution that... Or it, d it doesn't like uh, non-HD resolutions. Um, I don't know if there's any, like, mods. I just literally just bought an adapter that uses HDMI. And again, it upscales the 480i to uh, 720p. So, for instance, like, Games with, like, P the very few, by comparison to the other consoles, PS2 games that have 40p support. I actually can't use 40p mode with this upscaler because it doesn't recognize it. Because its only function is to upscale the 480i input into 720. Oh, shit. Her bad, by the way, don't touch. Oh, hell yeah. Honestly, if I could, I would still use component, probably, but... Again, the only reason I'm using this, uh, the solution I'm using is because my capture, to, to have this at upscaled at a resolution that my capture card recognizes and agrees with. Speaking of PAL games, my, um, my recent eBay adventure, uh, starting to receive those games. Shout out International Shipping. Man. Sucks that I can't play GT4 at 1080i. the game now. Like, I own DT Racer. So you say it as a joke, I say, what if I did? The thing that sucks about GT4's 4DP mode is the uh, the jitters it gets whenever it's rendering like a bunch of shit at once. Other than that, it's, it's hot. Alright, two down, two wins. <laughs> Burn it. would be goofy fun. I have finished the Milestone WRC series, so what I do after this could be anything.
Oh, that wasn't AI takeover. That was me just steering off the track. I still have full control of my car after crossing the line. <laughs> I just like to do that because there's an invisible wall there at some point in the grass. The gravy tell him I have words for him. Okay. I will try to remember this Reaper. I could also do Sonic Riders. I could. I still need to buy a copy of Zero Gravity. I never bought Zero Gravity. Unlock a character after 50 hours. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, we're doing Greenfield next. It's been a minute since we've been on this track. This is the uh, fictional Goodwood-inspired track. With a little bit of Donington sprinkled in. Also, the track map is, sh is con like, by design, shaped like a person driving a car. Oh, speaking of Gravy... Hi, Gravy. Uh, Reaper has words for you, apparently. He literally just came in and said that. Goodington. Woodington. So we're recording with this fight. Reaper has to do is just go full just rap battle mode and completely roast him. Which is uh not too difficult, honestly. Again, every point in charisma. Oops. No problem, Kay Fabe. Where am I going? I'm not paying attention to the racetrack. This fight broke out during the screen with some rough Luffy. No, I'm the biggest Mark Player fan. No, I'm the biggest Mark Player fan. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Car drive the car. This is a yes. I figured it out. Liam. <laughs> Thank you for the resub. Car drive car. Greetings, gamer. So what's up, MMR? I'm driving gaming. Keep your balls a ton, tit fuckers. Very dirty at pass for the lead, but yeah, these things happen. <laughs> oh my god, my brain, hello. Brain blue screen. Windows XP shutdown noise. Fredson Fest Vera. <laughs> I was trying to do something there. Okay. 
Look at all the cars. Vroom. That's three for three, and I now have a 14-point lead. I was, yeah, 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 yeah. I took care of it, thank you. It actually solved my issue. All right, on to round four. Let's go. So issue. Yes, I consulted Enki Gilbert uh, directly. And he fixed it for me. Anyways, Yokohama Street Circuit. So all the, I bet the finale is going to be at Motegi. We got Motegi and. Uh, Figure it out. Let's see. Oh, Monaco. Motegi and Monaco's left. Whoa, Ziggler. Tried to freaking bunny hop over me. I have to remember to keep updating it after I see the some prompt. Five girls attend a bowling pot on the stove. It kind of do look like a cooking pot that's been uh, horrifically warped. Yeah, it's Yokohama. It looks like a tire, see? Taking the lead. An odd cleaver. Odd cleaver, more like Todd Cleaver. That's this is a NASCAR joke. Looks like, like a box dude holding out a butcher's cleaver, actually. Also that. There, there's also that, maybe. New record. Uh oh. Oh, I thought I was gonna hit the wall. hit and miss with that hairpin. The rush hour five set in the streets of set in Yokohama. Fuck 
character gets run over by an Esperanto. The end. He just... <laughs> just jumps out into an active racetrack. Gets bodied immediately. these prototypes in this game is so fun. They're, they just... All the speed, all the grip. And again, this game has excellent wheel support for the time. And honestly, still pretty decent for today's standards. No, it's not a jab. I'm just saying, like, for considering where wheel support was in 2003, uh, when this game came out, amazing for the time. And with how wheel support has evolved over the years, this is still pretty good. If anything, I was mentioning how much shit has evolved over the years and it has gotten better. Alright, two races to go. I don't know why I was thinking one. So we got Motegi and uh, Monaco left. I won by 16 seconds. Oh, well, I've... I can't lose. The gold medal has been a... Uh, has been, uh, clinched. Because I have a 20-point lead, and the most they can gain on me is 18. Yeah, we'll support them, despite the switch not having it itself. Oh. No settings. Yeah, maybe, maybe they thought someday would, someone would make a, an actual wheel peripheral. Have a wheel. Oh, we're doing Monaco. Okay, so the finale is going to be at Motegi. Interesting. Figured Monaco would be the finale. Strap your Joy Cons to it. I don't know. <laughs> That's your force feet in the back. Probably just a little oversight. It's nothing too. It's, it's not a deal, big deal or anything to real actually complain about. That's kind of one of those things where people like only people who go absolutely out of their way to find anything possible to complain about everything would uh find wrong. Basically, people who hate follow video games. Don't stop now. Get up in his face. Show him you're in a league of ball. I think LP is a Monaco is a good idea. I don't know. These motherfuckers think Formula One cars at Monaco is still a good idea. LMP is basically the same thing, except the wheels are covered. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Hi, how you doing? Yeah, these five lap races go by pretty quickly. I'm actually kind of upset I missed that, uh, that little window where Amazon was selling pre-orders of EAWRC for 30 bucks. I should have snagged it while I had the chance. Sounds like a horrible idea. You know, as bad of a circuit as Monaco is, at least it's not like Macau where there's literally a corner where overtaking is completely disallowed in any way. You didn't see the coverage about the new F1 game either, because new F1 game is pretty good. Yeah, permanent yellow. Yeah. It's still Codemasters. Codemasters still can make good games just because, you know, they are, they're owned by EA now doesn't mean they've lost the ability to make good racing games. However, they've struggled a bit in recent years. Most of the grid. Dude, Breaking Point 2 was cool, especially the story. Listen here, motherfucker. No, no, no. You're not just gonna blow the bus off and be like, tee hee, I passed you. You're there. Fuck out of here. EA Sports. It's in the game. Oh. Huge Devin Butler mark. Dude, the Devin Butler, uh,. Help me out here with the word. Can't think of the word. Um, Redemption tour. Redemption arc was real. Pie hot dog. Chocolate starfish. And the hot dog flavored water. Redemption was the word I was looking for, by the way. Devin Butler Redemption arc. It's crazy. Honestly, EA is letting Codemasters work pretty autonomously. Like, nothing really has changed there. Except they have more money now because they... Because of the billion dollar buyout. multi-billion dollar. I understand the fear, because EA does like to... Like, my biggest fear is EA would force them to start using Frostbite, and they gladly did not. Honestly, EA hasn't even been as bad as it used to be. Like... At its worst, yeah, like, ooh, there's a reason why it's one worst company multiple years. However, they're doing okay now. It's, I think they figured out how far they can actually push without extreme backlash.
Oh, that's a wall, by the way. Once they were no longer allowed to get children addicted to gambling, uh, things improved greatly. to go at the big oval. So let's head to the final race, sixth and final race of this tour. Here we go. Five laps of Motegi. Bit of a slow launch because I didn't want to spin the tires. Still beat that dude off the line. You say that, Zayflurry. I know, you know damn well you're going to let me go. Peggy had an oval. Oh no! Oops. Oops. Chaos. They're gone. I mean, structurally it's still there, but after the big earthquake that damaged it, it's no longer usable, like, usable for motorsports. Not operational. And there's no reason to repair it. Because oval racing in Japan is pretty non existent. in a row but yeah hey it's still two months and I appreciate that thanks for the free sub cafe series champion baby clean sweep all six races perfect score 
Incredible. Ooh, give me that RP. Very good. Oh, hey. DeLorean. Hmm. Interesting. It's a new car for me. One point two one gigawatts, or whatever the freaking thing is. It's the famous car. There are no other famous cars. Yes. All right. So now that I completed that, I'm gonna save again, just in case. And. The DeLorean is the first car. So that was Toll Race number seven complete. We got... The rest we have is just rally stuff. Mm. 1810, it looked exactly the same. <laughs> mm, what should I do next? I could start on the second page of the single races, meh. I could do more time trials. Um, okay, one makes are done. One v ones are done. We also have tournaments we can do. You know what, fuck it, let's do the next tour race. Let's do some rallying, since it's been a while. So compete for the best total time on a tarmac course, the Tarmac Rally King. Money equals. Money. Q for the three months and more. Money. Speaking of money, spend 25,000 to unlock this. Is it just rally? Yeah, okay. Drive any car, and you will win gold. So what car do I want to drive? Yeah, sure, we'll drive this, since I unlocked it. Prototypes are allowed, however not recommended. Although this is a tarmac rally, I could get away with that. I hate how that you planted the seed gravy. Alright, fine. Well, apparently I cannot drive the Audi. That's weird. Alright, fine. Let's get a little goofy. Start. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. This might be hilarious. This might be uh, hilarious. It's time to rally my Bentley. Wait, this is a rally event. What are you doing, bringing a Bentley in here? All right, so this should be short. We're just doing this track forward and backwards. For this stage. Let's help on. Yeah, you know, just casual one hour stage. The Euro Hill Climb Championship. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. I have an eight second lead, by the way. Easy run. Welcome to the Targa Florio. Walk 
Pocho. Time for Radio Bacho. Just seven second lead, it's fine. Sometimes I have to forego the challenge for Goofy, and this is one of those times. Wheel. because I just want to go fast, but these turns are too tight. In a casual 10 second gap. The medium right. Ooh. Oh, wheel spin. And we won the first stage. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> One by ten seconds. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, it's a points rally. Okay. It's not combined times. Damn. A return. Hi, Leah. I'm rallying a Bentley. Prototype. Because why not? You know, I'm going to save that replay. Probably won't show up well in the thumbnail, but... All right. Now for the reverse course. A reverse of the stage. Here we go! Easy road. And easy left. <laughs> Big wheel spin. 75. Medium left. Oh, still wheel spin. Alright, we're going second gear. 75. Half in right. Get the ultimate rally machine. 75. Easy road. And long. Half in left. I was I'm last in the first sector. <laughs> Scooter rally cross. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, we're up to seventh. Medium right. I guess we're going to get in a lot of time, probably. Oh, we're in the lead. Shout out to our Australian co driver. I chip a dot chip Into 
Made it. When the rail right. Not the well done right. Yeah, it's just the target Florio. <laughs> I won the rally in my Bentley prototype. Well done. Yeah, just I just won by twelve seconds. No big deal. This is so goofy. Yeah, ultimate rally machine. At least for tarmac. I win. Look at that, we got eight drivers on the board. I have 21. <clears throat> Doing a fucking... Some sort of future car, seems fair. <laughs> it's so many nine. Hey look, I've unlocked a, a GT2 Evo by winning this rally event. Cool. Alright, well, I think that might be one of the goofiest things we've done in this game, and we've driven a Fiat 500 against GT1 cars. I brought my Bugatti, I hope that's okay. <laughs> uh shit. Unfortunately, that's the only time we're going to be able to do that, because, uh... Bentley don't do good on gravel. So, uh, we're going we're gonna to do the Gravel Rally Specialist now. 25,000 to Windmill Hill. Try it in the prototype. It'll be great. Yeah, totally. It'll, it'll go. It'll go wonderfully. All right. Yeah. No. I'm just gonna drive this. I'm gonna drive Sergey's own Peugeot 206 against him. Realistic sim racing content. Oh, this thing's fully upgraded, fully upgraded. Okay. Let's go. On the gravel. Go. God, I won't be able to hear the co-driver because my wheel is popcorning. I have to remember what I'm doing. Luckily, this won't be as hard as in story mode because the AI are slower. Again, I'm pretty sure the the AI in the event challenge is equivalent to normal mode on story in story mode or normal AI in story mode. Oh no! Oh fuck! I forgot about this. I forgot about the drop. I am die. Thank you forever. Why is this a feature? I can't park though. It's fine. It's not fine. It's the opposite of fine, but it's fine. Oh! Out of this very tight section. Yeah, we can come back from this. I, I, the comeback is happening. I'm up to back up to 15th after completely fucking that section. Eleventh. Everyone else wrecked as well. Yes, clearly. Whoop, whoop. 
<laughs> yeah, they just stopped to see if I was okay. Bridge. Oh, medium left. Uh, important question. Do you think Bridget, Guilty Gear, and Cement Arknights are, uh, friends? Absolutely. Okay. Concrete baby! Shout out to the freaking Concrete Woman. Alright, we ended up sixth in the stage. I only lost four seconds to Yahon Tanner. Excuse me, John Tanner. Was that say Raikkonen? Oh, Runkainen. Actually, I might be fucked here because I just remember this is a points rally, not a. Yeah. Okay. Um. Actually, I'll have to redo the stage. If this was just based on time, I'd be fine. Because I can easily make up the four seconds. However, because they tally points at the end of each stage. I'm not fine. Dude, in the Bentley. Let's just do this over again. All I have to do is just not fucking die and we'll be fine. This is actually my next rally let's play. I fooled you all. Just because I finished the uh, milestone WRC games doesn't mean we're done with rallying. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Alright. I did not die this time. Oh. At least I didn't die there. Jump. Oh, absolutely, test drive. Very much an untapped market. I've only I've only done Call of McRae and V Rally and WRC. There's so much more. Expand Rally, all oh, hell yeah, dude! I love rally games with uh, death, like actual death. Like, your driver can die. Game over, kid. If WRC go... I mean, absolutely, Harry. I am going to buy it eventually. And play it. I just don't know when. I'm gonna play with a little fucking VR cafe. Uh, soaring into a wall at 140. Yeah, it would scare me too. If I went careening into a wall at that speed, just uh, ninety degree turn just appeared. I won, by the way. It's like surprise, bitch. All right, now we can move on to uh, stage two. I somehow managed to get a course out in the rally stage. A gravel rally stage, mind. Explain that one, Atheist. Alright, here we go. Stage of two. The exact route I just did, except the other direction. We 
we got expand rally, uh, test drive off road. Oh, I fucked it. That yeah, mobile one rally and all that shit. There's like a lot of like one off rally games, I think. Like there's the um, Rally Fusion, which I need to get my hands on a physical copy of. Sega Rally, yeah. Richard Burns Rally. Shout out to Richard Burns Rally for the Xbox. Yeah, Sebastian Lo Bevo. There's the uh, couple Dakar games on the PS2. Plus the couple modern Dakar games. Yeah, there was CPSP. Pretty sure there's a Tommy Mackinan rally game on the PS1 as well. I'm fucking it up here, fam. From the Kinetica. I don't. Song at the entire soundtrack. 100% bangers. Oh, yeah, Art of Rally. Shout out Art of Rally. Love that game. I need to play more of it. Hopefully, this, hopefully, uh, this PC. Hopefully, Art of Rally won't send my 3070 into freaking warp drive like it did my 1660. Like, soon as I started driving an Art of Rally, my the fans went to maximum RPM. Yeah, the Rally Sport Challenge. Ooh, Rally Master Race Champions. Developed by DICE. Okay, now I'm interested. Because DICE developed my favorite rally game of all time, and that's Rally Sport Challenge 2. Futuristic racing game I want to get Jeff Gordon XS Racing, just because it has Jeff Gordon's name on it for whatever reason. I think I lost. I lost. Shit. All right. Let's try that again. I wasn't even paying attention to my time. I'm like, ah, it's fine. The AI is on normal. I'll get an easy dub. I did not get an easy dub. It's because I missed the bridge, mostly. Oh, easy lift. I remember when DICE made racing games, not just Battlefield. We're, we're talking about rally games, Ovo, not just old games in general. No, no, no! I missed the bridge again, God damn it! Son of a bitch. I tried. So hard. In the end... Had to restart. Didn't fucking matter. Should talk dice. So made the bad battlefront. Not just battlefield. I S the uh, sense and accomplishment. Or whatever. Battlefront. <laughs> Red Cape, babe. It's like a GT online only rally events. Same with a uh, race driver three. Wait, 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 wait. 
DICE made the shitty STCC games? I'm not talking about, like, the, the STCC DLC for Race 07. So I know there's, there's like, a couple STCC games on like from, like, the early 2000s on PC that were published by EA. And then one of those got repurposed into a V8 Supercars game. Where you go to Bathurst and like one other track, and then the rest are Swedish tracks. I did not know that was Dice developed. Hmm. Okay, there we go. We won that time. Went three seconds faster. Honestly, the thing, the cool thing, of, I, I wish the V8 Supercars game was actually, like, good, <laughs> because it has, it has the Utes. There's also no save function in the game. <laughs> I win. Aha. Uh -huh. Took a couple tries, but we're good. We, we got there. Yeah, isn't there a Volvo S40 DLC for Race 07? They developed the PS1 port of Heat? Hmm. Hey, we got a GT2 Impreza by winning this rally event. <laughs> That's actually a really nice color. That, like, blue, blurple, whatever. Interesting. Alright, well, we got one more tour race left to do, and it's the Rally Championship, which I assume is just... Uh, both stages run forward and backwards, because it says Water Bridge plus three courses. Yeah, best total time on all four courses. It says total time, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a points championship. So 42500 to purchase. And yeah, use any car you want. As long as you win, you get gold. What car do I want to use? Hmm. Let's use the Focus. The Ford Fuck Us. Oh, Xbox game. I should get that Mercedes-Benz uh, World Racing game. I keep seeing gameplay of it, and it looks interesting. Oh, there's, there's a bunch of games that I want to add to my collection. That I, I I'm kind of I'm poor. Unfortunately, I cannot purchase everything I want immediately. I have to prioritize my gaming purchases. Which once everything gets in arrives in the mail, I'll be able to show off what I recently purchased. waiting on international shipping, but... Unplayable vehicles, Volvo FM. Dude, I love the Volvo Forza Motorsport. Here, 1.5 seconds ahead. Under 
<laughs> we went two completely different directions with that joke. <laughs> Very good. I lost some time. First stage. There. Hmm. All right, so we get the dub in the first stage. Take the points of lead. It's like it's like dirt too. It's a points rally. <laughs> Anyways, on to the next. So we're we gonna do. How are we gonna do this? Are we gonna do the reverse tarmac first, or are we gonna do the gravel stage? We're doing the reverse tarmac. Oh wait, no. No, we're doing the gravel stage, okay. So we're doing both forward stages, and then we'll do the reverses. We'll go shaky, 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 shaky. You know, wiggly boy. Oh, oh, on the wall. I avoided the wall. Oh, I'm out of control. I'm back in control. Alright, don't go flying off the edge. I succeeded in not flying off the edge. Tight section. I don't know why I was throwing it in there. I know better than that. I got the lead though. It's a toy. God. That was a wall, by the way. I'm not supposed to hit those. Ouchie. Left. Sure to be a wall player. Now I know. It seemed pretty hard, yeah. And the wall certainly wasn't easy. One stage. It's easy. <laughs> oh, by eight tenths. Cool. So. 
a point lead over Sebastian Virenke. Or Virenke? Virenke? Virenke. That's how I'm going to say it. I go to later MMR. Have a good night. All right. On to the reverse stages now. Let's do this. Excuse me. Easy run. Where we go? Easy left. Seventy five. Medium left. Seventy five. Air pin right. Seventy five. Easy run. Oh well, no, P two at the first sector. I can't have this. I must win. Winning good. <laughs> did you know that when you win things, uh, good things, uh, you, you did good? Ah, but you have to eat about the. You win things by winning. Finish first to win the race. the wall. Oh, another little kiss to the wall. Equal opportunity kissing. Gotta kiss both walls. Uh oh. If you ever take the leader, you'll be in first place. You don't fucking say, Stefan. Pretty good run. Good enough, at least. I win. Mean, Alright. One stage to go, and I'm pretty sure... Well, I'm not pretty sure. I I know I've... Guaranteed a, a dub here. A gold medal. Oh, excuse me. Yep, 12 point lead. Seb can't beat me now. Hehehe. <laughs> I got nine drivers on the board now. Alright. Do the final stage. The final round and period of the, uh, the tour race section. of the event challenge. Here we go. Ready? Start! Bridge. Yeah, stayed on the bridge. Let's go. Easy 
Oh, that's a wall. Carried a little too little speed. Turned a little too hard. Cargo. Or wheel, excuse me. Victory, clean sweep. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I win. Series champion. Congratulations, you're true champion. Clean sweep, baby. Oh, no new people in the points. All right. Hey, I'm back up over a million RP for the first time in a long time. Oh, we got a GT2 Peugeot 206. Okay. Front wheel drive. I'll take it. Cool. Alright, let's go save again. Do, a, do another save of our progress. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's do, uh, do a little more. You do... Just a little, a little more. Let's see. So that is all the tour races complete. So one makes are done, tour races are done, rivals are done. Um, so all we have left is tournament, extra, time trials, and single races. You know what? I feel like doing some some more rallying, so let's do this ra rally arena tournament. Fuck it. I love completion. <laughs> All right, seventy-one thousand to enter, and use whatever you want for gold. I know what I'm gonna use. I just don't know exactly which one I'm gonna use. We're gonna use the goofy uh, mini, the, the Stefan Garnier special. Because it's, it's goofy ah enough. Yeah. I guess if I need more, less rear brake, I can just use the MFD to adjust it. So here we go. We're going to do five full laps, basically, around the arena. Five one-lap races in this tournament. And here we go. Hip in 
I can tell you right now, I'm going against a Rally 2 car here in this first round. They're nice, they're nice cars. They're fun little cars, even though they're not so little anymore. They're still fun little cars. Oh, shit! I live, it's fine. Pin, but it's fine. Now we are kicking our opponent's ass. They're definitely in a slower car. I mean, it did say Rally 2 for the uh, uh, opponent list, which means Rally 2 for the first round. I just wonder how many Rally 2 cars we're going to face until we get to the Rally 1 cars. Medium right. Fun drive. I don't think I ever messed with that car. GT3. round victory with ease. Oh yeah, he was in an RSX. Not even close. Oh, Sebastian too. What the fuck are you showing up in a slow car, bud? Okay. Well, rip Sebastian Varinke. On to round two. What car and driver will be we be going up against this time? I won't be able to tell. <coughs> Away we go. It's definitely another Rally 2 car, because I'm all, I am just drove away from off the line. Oh shit, this way. This way, Schmoll. Schmoll car. Mini. Whoop. Oh my goodness. Good, everything's fine. good first loop, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to win anyways. Oh, god damn it. Tear down the wall.
We're good. It's fine. I'm tall. Hell, I feel like I have long as fuck legs and I'm 5'10. I feel it. Oh, it was another RSX. Okay. Interesting choice. Take that Leo Runeberg. Two cars from the passenger side? Well then. Alright, on to the quarterfinal. As, no, as in Stefan Garnier, the, a character in the video game. His special tune. Oh jeez, oh man, oh we are, oh yee, okay we're good. Big slippy. Oh, okay, that was a little too much handbrake, holy shit. I ripped the fuck out of the handbrake. <laughs> This is not a front-wheel drive car. This is a four-wheel drive car. Right, I'm definitely racing against a Rally 1 car now. So I'm not destroying them. Subaru. I did not hit the Subaru sign. I gotta figure out a better line through there. That's just so awkward and dumb. Probably slow. semi-final. Uh, that was going against an Impreza. Who was in the Impreza? It was Bjorn Abel. He was unable to drive that thing quickly. I won by 11 seconds. Oh, yeah, I finally got a no-course-out bonus. All right, to the semifinal. Rip. Couldn't see it. Have wheat. Real fucking confusing. <laughs> Aha. 
car. Yes, you have established this multiple times. The sled part in Mega Man 8 is pretty difficult, but it was also pretty neat. Hard, though. Right, I had a pretty slow start, but I think I brought it back at the end of this first loop. second loop. Yeah, I don't think they would appreciate that. Just showing pictures of them to strangers on the internet. But still, no buts. <laughs> that shit ain't cool. another Impreza. Who was in the Impreza this time? Marshall Osborne. Like Marshall Oz going home. Haha. <laughs> Got him. Haha. <laughs> did, did I have f f fucking anyways. Do the final of this super special tournament. My money is on my opponent is Sergey. This is pretty special. You know, I was about to mention, like, I sure have a pretty strong grasp on this stage now. No, I don't. I sure don't. It's in a focus, so it's not Sergey. Sergey drives the two, Pojo 206. Also, this focus is going. I'm gonna have to be quick in this second loop. In this game, yes, yes, I would. Especially if you have a PS2 compatible wheel, it's really fun. It's a good video game that frightens the incel virgins because there's a little bit of titty.
shoot. Oh, this is going to be tight to the line. Come on. It's going to be a drag race. Ah, he got me by three tenths. My opinion on GT7, amazing game. Some of the best AI I've ever raced against in any video game ever. Damn. Damn you, Hans. It's okay. We'll just try again. And this time we'll defeat Hans. So we're on 237.4, so I just gotta run a 236, basically. To win. Oh no, I genuinely love GT7, and it's I, I genuinely think the AI in GT7 is some of the best AI in that's ever been made for racing games. I wouldn't say it sucks, it is linear, and that's a bit disappointing, but I wouldn't say it's bad. Yeah, the menu system could be better. Like, it'd be cool to have more options for what cards you use and what order you do things, but... And I'm still not a big fan of the Chase the Rabbit system that most races operate on, but... The racing is so damn good, I can kind of... I, I can ignore that. Because the racing is so damn good. Yeah. Which Polifting has been gradually adding more and more events. Although it's not really a whole lot of different varieties of events. <laughs> Overall, it's it's easily in my top fa three favorite Gran Turismo games. And I very much adore it. I can't wait to get a PS5 and install it, install GT7, and see it at maximum power and beauty. Oh, I definitely got our boy this time. Oh, dude, I've seen Reaper's screenshots from it, because he has a PS5. Beautiful. Gorgeous. And the endurance events are probably the peak of like where the game is peak. Like at its best. I win. I made hundred and forty two thousand RP. Also, yes, GT4 and GT2 are fist fighting for my top two. Oh, we got a uh, we got a focus drag car. Okay. Cool. I'll take that. All right, let's save our progress yet again. So, where are we at now? We're at 74.1%, so we've made 7.9% of progress tonight. Is that 
big 75. We're almost at that 76. See, that used to be my top three until GT7 came out, kayfabe. GT5 got slid just a little bit back to fourth. Anyways, I think we made good progress. Did that tournament. We finished off the, the rival races. We finished off all the tour races. We finished off all the one makes, so... Um, this section is done. We just have five tournaments left. We have the extra events left, and then we have the time trials and single races still to do, which we have plenty of those to do. So... We still have... A lot left to go here in uh, our racing evolution. Next time, which will be tomorrow, we'll continue our the grind. <laughs>